Today I will teach you about the write function in Python file handling. Now when we go for file handling applications, we need to remember three things. One is to open a file. Second one is to process the file. And third one is close the file. So in order to open a file, we have an open function and we need to pass two parameters. One is the name of the file, what you want to open and in which mode you want to open. Second one is processing the file. The processing could be reading the data or writing the data or appending the data or creating a new file. Then finally, you need to close the file. We have a close functions. So today I will be explaining how to work with write function in Python file handling. So I want to write some data to an existing file. So to write to an existing file, we must add a parameter to the open function. Now the parameters, as I said, we need to give the file name and the mode. Okay, so the mode can be append or the write. So when you go for append mode, the data will add only to the end of the file. Whatever the text might be, but it will add only to the end of the file. And when you use w, that is write, we will override the existing content, whatever it might be. So that's a basic difference. Now here I am trying to open a file called python1.txt and the mode is right and once you get this file pointer by using the file pointer I'm calling one function called write and whatever the string you are going to mention here will be written to the file called python1.txt then I'm closing the file by calling the close functions now after writing the data I want to read the data also so again I'm opening the same file but here you can see the mode is read mode and here it is creating the file pointer by using that I'm calling a function called read and f1 dot read I'm trying to put it the print function so this will print the complete data what you're reading and finally close the file now here I've given the relative path so how to work with that so whenever you open the anaconda Jupyter notebook you get this home page so if you want to create a new file, you have the option like new file here. And that is a text file by default. So I'm writing here python1.txt. Just double click it. And you get a text file. Now here I'm writing something like python programming is platform independent portable then object oriented okay that's it now these are three lines i just save this okay now when I execute this one, I want to see this is the three lines text. Okay, now these three lines will be overwritten because here you can use I'm using a write mode. When you go for the write mode to the existing file, what happens is what are the data which is existing here will be overwritten with this particular new text. Okay, then your output also need to be the same. This one, this only will be the output for you. Just will execute and see. Now, can you see the output you got here? But when you open this file, just close and open this file. Can you see the three lines have been overwritten with the Python program? So, when you use a mode called W, that is the right mode, the existing contents will be overwritten. Okay, so that's what we have done. So the previous three lines were overwritten with the Python programming what you have been given in the right function. Okay. Now suppose you don't have, that means you don't have an existing file. 
then what we can do here is let's say i'm trying to make it as python 10.txt and here i also i'm going to change python programming in python 10.txt something i'm changing here okay this particular file is not there i'll show so here we don't find any uh, python 10.txt okay so if you don't have a file but you are trying to write into the particular file the file will get automatically created okay so do i don't find any file called python.10.txt so just let me execute this and see so here you are getting here i need to read this one right 10 so now you got python program python 10 txt so just check out see automatically this python 10 has been created that means the file whatever you are giving in the right mode if it is, it is not existing automatically new file is created and the data is written into this one can you see this okay the text file was not there but it is created and written the data is written if you go for existing file the already existing data will get overwritten what i was showing here in this particular file okay now if this files are available in this particular home page then there is no need of giving the path directly you can write like this but now i want to work with d drive my local disk and i'm having one folder called text one dot uh, text test one and in that i want to create this particular file python one dot txt that in write mode so i'll show the folder so you can see in d colon test one i'm having only python not python one so when i execute my pro, my uh, application here i want to write hello hello one so this complete statement need to be written in a file called python one.txt that to in test one folder and in d drive okay the same thing i'm right trying to read here okay because it's in read mode this is in write mode so i'm writing some data and i'm reading some data so here i'm closing the file once you write here i'm after reading also i'm closing the file okay or let me i will change here new to programming okay something now I'll just save it so i'll show again the folder we don't have python one here but when I execute it need to automatically create here Okay, just execute and see so you're getting the output also hello and hello new to python programming so i'll show the folder and you see here python one is created automatically just open this and see can you see this okay so python one.txt you got this information so earlier it was not there but i have created this one so like that you can create a particular file and you can write some data into that in different drives or different folders also like this okay but you need to give the absolute path now this is called as absolute path this is called as relative path okay now if i take the same one if i take the same one same uh, python one.txt but i'm giving a different uh, text now here what happens is whatever the existing data is there this complete thing will be overwritten okay by this or new to python programming okay so when you use w mode write mode it will overwrite the existing data so after doing this complete thing you are reading the data here so you get the new data so let me check i'll just close this and uh, I execute this one so i got this and i need to go for this can you see the new data has been overwritten okay on the older data like this you can go for so when you go for write mode and you have the existing file it will get overwritten now coming to the write lines method it writes the items of a list to the file so we need to pass the list of lines to the write lines function so that it will store into the file so where the text will be inserted depends on the file mode and stream position so now a stands for the append the text will be inserted at the current file stream position default at the end of the file only it will do w the file will be 
emptied before the text will be inserted at the current file stream position default is zero. So as I said, when you use write mode, the complete data get overwritten right from the zero index. But when you go for append mode, it will only add to the end of the file. So the syntax is you go for file object dot you call write lines method and you pass the list. I'll show the example here. So here I want to go open the python 2.txt that will write mode and I'm using the write lines method and inside the function you can see the square bracket is nothing but the list. Okay, you need to pause the list and I'm in double quotes I'm putting slash and there is new line. So this is one line. This is the second line I want to insert and uh, this is the third line. This is the third line. So three lines I'm trying to insert because I'm separating with a slash n. Okay. I'm separating with a slash n here. Right. Then I'm closing the file. Similarly, I'm reading the same file. So here, this one is a relative path. So I'll show you here. There is no python 2.txt here. Okay, I don't have any python 2.txt when you don't have only python 1, python 10 is there, python 2 is not, it will automatically create for you. Just execute this. Now can you see, three lines are been new to python programming is this. Python is simple, python is platform independent, three things. But here you can see the list is closed. So the argument for the write lines method is a list. Okay, so I'll show you the python 2.txt which is automatically created here. So can you see three lines, first line, second line and third line. Since I've been slash and before, there is an empty line created. Okay. So this is the list what you're going to pass. So this is how you're going to use the write and write lines method a function in uh, Python file handling. So I have to give an input on write and write lines method. So if you like this video, do comment, subscribe and share it to your friends. Thank you.